Yeah. There's, an, there's an agenda right now where they're trying to make men not masculine yeah. because then the woman will want to dominate them. And this all goes back to the Bible. Eve, what does she do in the garden? I love the principle. She tried to dominate her husband in the sense of, I know best, right? Because he wasn't standing up to his role. He's uh -huh. supposed to tell her, this is not what we're doing. Yeah. I got clear instructions from God. That's leadership. And she, he wasn't doing so. So she made the decisions for both of them and it led them to sin. And it said that the that women will always be cursed with wanting to have dominion over a man. And I think today's generation, if we're since we were talking a little bit about, about religion, I think that we are struggling with the curse of Eve. It's so funny. You know how people will say, I, if it, I was Eve, I would have not, never ate that apple. We're eating it every day. Like yeah. we're trying to have dominion, so much power over men. I think the agenda is to make men soft and weak so that yes. women have to step up and now be masculine. Yeah. Okay. Oh, man, we, what do you guys think about that? Now we did a lot of research on this in our, um, in our Wednesday night call. And we found out some stuff, but I just want to hear your initial reactions first. What do y'all think? <laughs> Why <are> you quoting? <laughs> Ryan's ducking. Like. No, I'm a... I agree with her, but oh, you agree? Why? I'm letting somebody else go. I need to. I need to ruminate on my thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> I um, I'm a little torn by where I want to go with this um, because it's. It's interesting um, that we are, you know, we're right now in a battle to um, elect the first female president, mm -hmm. and um, and I and I look, I watch her husband, uh, Kamala Harris's husband, and how his demeanor is, and he's like, you know, they were t they been making a lot of jokes about him, about him putting up the Christmas tree at Christmas time, and you know, decorating the Easter baskets and things like Sorry. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and I'm thinking about it, and I'm like, man, it's, it's interesting, um, the thought process of that being completely flipped, you know? Um, and I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm in a weird place right now. I mean, we just had a bunch of Secret Service agents that, you know, almost got Donald Trump killed. I don't know. I'm just in a weird place right now where it just seems like um, I'm okay with the I'm okay with the feminine energy. What is? What do you mean? What, you say what, that? Uh, what do you mean when you say you're okay with the feminine energy? What? I mean, like I'm okay. Like I, I heard Candace Owens say that women don't need to be in certain positions. Women don't need to be secret service agents. They don't need to be in law enforcement. They don't need to be president, pretty much. And I'm just like, uh, you know what? I, I just say God. Let God use whoever He wants to use. Um, uh. I feel like uh, the dynamics have shifted a lot from the traditional 60s family to where we are today. We need to have more men outings in track stars. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I'm going to say outings. this. I, I'm going I'm I'm to say this first. Like, Never to minimize the role of a woman. The first person that Jesus spread the message with was a woman. You know what I'm saying? Amen. I was raised by a black woman. Like, I yeah. believe women are very powerful and influential in our culture, and they should be. You know what I'm saying? But according to what she was saying in scripture, that's really how I was taught um, the same way. We studied that scripture and bro break it down to and fro. And how it was looked upon was Eve being in the position to where the husband didn't step up, took marriage into her own hands. So that was her natural instinct in that situation being that Adam didn't say anything. So here here now, it's the part of the curse is the woman's gonna wanna assert authority over the man, but she's gonna have to submit to her husband. It's like it's a it's a innate it's like a fleshly desire I think or like a an innate desire to want to be in control feeling like you're smart you're intelligent you know how to make these certain moves which you are smart which you are intelligent but I think because of what she did as opposed to it being a thing where maybe even being a a joint thing or the woman had a kind of a more of a say so it's like when you had a say so you chose to sin so now we're gonna choose to make you submit to the husband but it's the key though. Not just any husband. This has to be a man who's submitted to God. This has to be a man that you can trust and confide in and understands that he's hearing the voice of God. Mm -hmm. Because if you're not a man who's submitted to God, the woman really has no reason to submit so, to you. We gotta have so, something to submit to. Yeah. So here's, here's, the, here's the question <laughs> that, that I asked. So in Genesis, is is um, Adam there just chilling while Eve is presented? It says he's That's there just chilling. <laughs> I didn't, I it didn't never. Chilling. Yeah. Wow. So he, here's the confusion. This is what we got to get straight because she was basing 
her opinion off of one translation of the Bible, and we kind of dug into the other ones. Mm -hmm. So this is this is the curse that was uh, given to Eve, right? Cursed the serpent, cursed Eve, cursed Adam, right? Well, he said to Eve, he said to the woman, "I will greatly multiply your sorrow and your mm -hmm. and your conception. In pain you shall bring forth children. Your desire shall be for your husband, and he shall rule over you." Now, some um, some translations say. Your desire will be to conquer your husband, but he will rule over you. Mm -hmm. So we went back and we looked at the Greek and we looked at all the, you know, the the core words, right? And we tried to try to break it down. And it appears, I'm trying to remember where we came to. It appears that the people, okay, so you know there's the different translations are different yeah. levels of yeah, translation. Yeah. There's a word by word translations, yeah. there's phrase by phrase translations, there's like idea by idea. Like the message Bible is like like an idea by yeah, idea yeah. where they take the whole verse and they kind of translate it into what how you would say it today. Yeah. You know what I mean, versus it being each word is translated. But even when you translate word for word, you don't know what it meant in the original Hebrew, yeah. Aramaic, Greek, yeah. right? So that word in the original language may mean a lot of things where our English word just means one thing. So you don't really get the full picture of it, right? Right. So we went back and we looked at, okay, what does the original word mean? And it appears it means more like what this is. Your desire will be for your husband. Like you will desire him, but in response, you will be ruled over. That's what it appears to mean originally. But in some translations, they take it to mean your desire will be to control your husband. And I don't know why they decided to add that. And there's and, and whenever you look at this, there's notes that say, or it could mean this, or it could mean that. Real quick, because I like so when this when you said it like that, you said your desire would be for your husband, but he will rule over you. It almost when you think about it like that, that would be saying pretty much you love your husband, but he don't love you. It's almost like how that comes across. Mm -hmm. So I think the husband, you like he tells us love your wife like Christ loved the church. Yeah. So we know we're going to love our wives, and they're going to love us and respect us. So. What I think, well, that's why I, I think I lean, I can understand that one definitely. I lean more toward the aspect of the woman wanting to assert authority over the man because you look at what's going on now in our culture, it's waywardism. Well, you got Beyonce, who's the main proponent of we don't need men who run the world, girls, and all this kind of stuff. <laughs> the music that's being put out about men, either we all gangsters or we gay. Either way it go, we dying. Um, now we're not here. Either way it go, we dying. <laughs> either, either way it go, we dying. You know what I'm saying? We're not thriving either way. Whether you're gay or you're in prison, you out of there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so, so now it's Jesus. like, okay, what it, so for the wholesome man I'm of God, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For, for the wholesome man of God who's supposed to be the pillar in the household, who's supposed to be the leader, spiritual leader of the household, who's supposed to be able to be that solid male foundation for your children and things of that nature. It's like they're trying to eliminate that. So I think was when I look at it this way, I'm looking at it like, okay, she wants to be the head of the situation because last time Adam didn't step up and do what he had to do. It's a lot of men who are not stepping up doing what they have to do. Mm -hmm. So naturally a woman feels like it's fight or flight. If my family's going to survive, if I'm going to thrive, I have to step up and take this head. I hear women say it all the time. I was in a situation where I felt like I had to be the head, and that shouldn't be the case. Yeah. So what makes her feel that way though either the guy's not stepping up or it's also this desire she has naturally on the inside to want to be the head mm -hmm. but what's going to make a woman of God respect you if you come with just you she gonna get tired of you I don't care how good you look how good you cook whatever you can do in the bedroom eventually that's gonna get old the only thing she's gonna respect continuously is a man who's submitted to God mm -hmm. and I think that's where that comes in that's why it don't sound it sound real like rigid at first but it's like yeah you're gonna want to dominate the man but he got control it's not as rigid as it comes across. Is if this man is truly submitted to God, then but, you should be submitted. But, to but here's a question: But, you, but you, you see how, depending on how you see that verse, you can have totally different interpretation of it. Yeah, there. yeah. But I, I think the question goes: But what if the man is submitted and she still don't want to submit? She got, she got to check herself. Then she not submitted to God. Yeah, mm. right. she got to be she submitted to God. He submitted to God, and y'all submit to each other because yeah. it does say that later yeah. in scripture. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> in his proper order. So like. It's funny because me and my sisters just had a Bible study talking about this. And I just, like you said, okay, let me form my, get my thoughts all <laughs> together. Like you, it's all over the place. Uh, <laughs> like, I remember, like, talking to God before, and he just was saying, like, there's not enough of us that are truly seeking out my revealed word for them and for their lives. So, like, in this situation, God told Adam don't eat the fruit mm -hmm. so like we easily can be like oh yeah well she dominated him 
Adam had a choice. Mm-hmm. You were it said you were next to her. She passed you the fruit. She didn't force you. So like even though she's having this conversation, well really y'all are being beguiled. We like to to emphasize that Eve is the one being beguiled. Y'all are being beguiled because you had a direct understanding with God of what you were supposed to do. So this is really your passive passivity, I guess, Adam. Because Sucker. Literally, <laughs> literally, because if he was standing on what God said, you standing on business, you would have been like, look, slap that fruit out yeah, of her hand. I don't care what or you don't did, eat it. Or that. God said we're not supposed to do this because didn't like you were saying, didn't he told her he told Adam that before Eve was even in the picture. <laughs> right. So the word was for Adam. And then if your husband is leading or your so, whoever you fuck to marry, he has the word. What's crazy is he his initial reaction was. You gave me this woman. The woman right. you gave me, Lord. The woman you gave me. The woman you gave. The woman whom you gave to be with me. She gave me the tree, and I ate. <laughs> like he blamed her immediately. But God said, <laughs> Eve. That's funny. Though. Eve was God deceived, funny. but Adam sinned. Mm. That's Ooh, what Scripture says that's too. Good. So man did fall because you was because you was the leader. Yeah. But but here's a, I Period. think the thing the thing too is that even. Like for years hearing that, I always thought like she ate and came to him and gave it to him. Mm-hmm. But I didn't know that he was there yeah. chilling. They was dragging like, us. Yeah, they was us. dragging she passed us. passed it over here, boo. Oh, you thought he was in the cut? No, I thought he was like <laughs> working. I, I, I thought that too. I yeah. thought he was like doing something. He came up and she was like, here, eat this. I didn't know he was like just watching the snake just talk to his wife. <laughs> like, yeah. You're there. That's crazy. <laughs> Are you going to sit there and let somebody finish your wife? No. That, or even if he did walk up at some part of the conversation, yeah, you maybe already. Yeah, there the whole time. Yeah. Exactly. You already aware of what's going on you and what, knew God, what told God told you. you. Yeah, exactly. it says she also gave to her husband with her and he ate. So he was, says he was with her. Mm hmm. Wow. I don't know if he was like, you know. Listen to his iPod or something. So, in the so, so, so what? Okay, so let, let's let's ask Max, the gentleman here. So, where do you feel like Adam is an alpha male or a beta male? A sucker. Dang, what? Stop mm. calling Adam a sucker. Adam was a sucker, man. <laughs> Look, this is why I say you're a sucker. If I'm sitting here and I'm with my woman, I see somebody crafty coming along. I see a snake walking up to my wife, talking and telling her some things against what God told us to do, and I'm just sitting there. First of all, if my wife talking to somebody like that and we in close process, I'm finna see what's going on. Like, it should be nothing that you telling her that you can't tell me. And that's the sign of a predator. Like, if you with your wife somewhere and somebody trying to convince you to do something and they come talk to your family to do something, they come talk to your wife before they come talk to you as the head of the household, you're not gonna feel offended by that? Yeah, for sure. Okay. But but no. he sat back and let it happen and didn't say nothing. And then he went and ate the apple. Well, that, let's gave it let's give him some bail and say he didn't hear the conversation. Well, I'm trying to put myself next to in a situation. <laughs> we don't know. We don't know how far. Maybe he was like with is like, you know, you with over there. I'm trying like, to, I can I'm, see you. I'm trying to put myself in the situation of Adam where there's no competition so your mind might not be going there right competition like when I say competition <laughs> I mean like there's there's no reason for you to be you know and all on the offense was good. All he knew on was the good. defense the defense I mean, it's right. not another dude that told her it was a no no no, no. it's just like I mean he could be <laughs> over there like <laughs> he could have been over there whittling sticks like it's <laughs> probably pretty boring you know <laughs> just being in the garden, garden they was not bored. bored. They was in paradise with you God. You were the presence of God in the garden of Eden. I don't know. Get if, bored, bro. I'm saying like he's probably off like doing something like some kind of weird activity. Like, question, you know what I'm Ron. saying like you I come t- to you. I'm like, hey, I sell. Let's say I sell timeshares out of all things, or whatever. Yeah. And I see you and your wife at the store. Your wife is right here. You right here doing whatever. Might buying a pair of shoes, whatever. If I walk up to your wife, are you going to be aware that I'm talking to your wife? Say that again. No. Oh, <laughs> your wife is right here. Yeah. You're right there. Say you're watering the plant, doing whatever you're doing. <laughs> Naming animals. Yeah, 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 yeah. If, I, if, I, if, I, if, I, if a random, if a random being, a person walks up to your wife and start talking to him, your sense is gonna be like somebody talk. You gonna know. Somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First of all, you're gonna be but like, what I, I name you? Don't you trust your wife? <laughs> don't you trust your wife? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Adam trusted Eve. I feel like mm. you trust your wife, but at the same time though, when I see something suspect, like a snake talking to my wife, or I see a dude who looks slick, like he a hustler, like he might try to finesse my wife, I'm at least ease a little bit closer, like on right. oh, point at you, like. But I get the concept of what Ryan is saying. If we're living in a in an atmosphere where sin is not present, yeah, you've never seen sin. So before. you don't you, have you the alert never. in your mind. Oh, let me go be a protector because. Yeah. Sin is not present. There's no evil. There's no oh, present that's danger. Good. The snake you don't even know what ground. evil is. But but, snake but is that's on the good. Ground. Adam wasn't a protector to anything. He was just a guardian of the atmosphere that he was around. So he so he may have not known how to be a protective of his wife. Mm. If you get what I'm saying, if God like, told he was just you, like, don't eat of this tree. 
That's that should be number one. You shouldn't even but wait, don't dude. even go near that tree. Don't even. But just like the lady said in the video, we say we wouldn't be Eve. Yeah, you don't we, know what you, you would say. Known. You you've yeah. been Adam. Yeah, I've been Adam. You ain't Adam today, but you've been Adam. Adam messed up one time and he was booted. And this the same though. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. And he was we got, he we got penalized. God didn't say, "Ah, oh, Adam, you you just messed up one time. Let me let you stay in the garden." That one time ruined it for everybody. Yeah. So well, well, but, here's, but, here's, but, here's, there was no this law. This is the right tree they ate from because if they would have ate from the other tree, they would it would have been immortal. Like nobody would have died. Why are we by this tree? Yeah. <laughs> if, 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 this is, if this is the tree he yeah. said don't eat from, and I got a whole set up a orchard. fence around that. You got a whole yeah. orchard full of trees. I'm naming animals. I'm chilling. Why am I even by this tree? But I do think that no matter whether it was Adam or James or Sean or Chris or Ryan, one of we would have done Somebody, it. it. Yeah, we would have did it. This was all part of the plan. Like this was yeah. this was supposed to happen. Yeah, yeah. We would have yeah. did it. But but I will say let's let's give him bail and say he didn't hear the conversation. Yeah. When she brings the apple to him, the one that God said, This is the only thing you gotta worry about. The only thing I ask you to do. Now does he know that that's from that tree? He did. Where'd that come from? He did. He did. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's clear in the Bible he, that he did. He knew where it, it came was a from. different color? Mm-hmm. Why would you then <laughs> his his excuse is dude she naked like what do you want me to do? Exactly. You know what I mean? That's, Y'all that's always bad. been naked. <laughs> they didn't know what naked oh, was they until did. they were yeah, the they the vet, right. whatever. Beautiful. This is She's my beautiful. beautiful. She's my beautiful She's wife. Beautiful. Who's flesh in my flesh, bone in my bone. Y'all who funny. Wa- who wants the best for me. Why yeah, but that's what that's me? the attitude he had. It's like, look what you 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 I'm gonna need y'all to be quicker than this, man. I'm gonna need y'all to be stronger than this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, we, the Lord said we exactly, we decreed, and that's, my point. <laughs> and that's my point. The Lord said, "Don't eat this mug. I don't care what you look like. It's the only thing you gotta do." Yeah. So did she? This is hard. I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out. Remember, did she it's say it's a hundred trees? Did, run? Does he? Does he know that it comes from that tree? Like he did. Yes, it's yes, clear yes. that he knew. They hid after. God, they why would God get wrong. mad at him if he didn't? Yeah. Why would God punish him? And he said, Adam. Where are you? I told you not to I, do I, I see this as being like the regular tree had red apples and this one had green no, apples. You, are you serious? Like you don't think Adam knew that? No, no, was, no, no. I'm saying that's how you knew the difference. Okay, like, okay, it, okay. It wasn't Maybe it was we don't even know if it was an apple. It wasn't we, an apple. We call it an apple. It was we a didn't fruit. Say it was apple. Yeah, okay. It was just a fruit. So in my mind, it's like. <laughs> yeah, in my mind, it's like. Um, Strawberry. You knew about <laughs> it. But <laughs> you got to also think, too, like that's the first time that, you know, even the the will to sin was tested. You know what I'm saying? So it's really hard to put yourself in that position so to, say, to say, is this my first time being given something outside of God's hand? You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't know. It's, it's weird. It's really weird. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, just live. Okay. Yeah. A little bit. This yeah, I, I was lost in this story. I really was. So. I think I think Adam. I think Adam yeah. was in a in, in a territory that he's never been in before. Yeah. And I think that's why everybody's kind of saying like, you know, I I've never been in a pressure where I have to, you know, maybe my wife gave me food all the time and was like, here, eat this, and I just ate and it. You know, and, and I'm just no, not. Yeah. This, babe, it's not try that. this. Try this. There, there's I'm no stove. there's no way to look at it other than he knew what he was doing. He blamed her for it. And God punished That's him. The There's no the other way out. Blame the woman. The, yeah, yeah we done. And what she went saying? and had kids with him after exactly. that. We're done, sir. <laughs> what is the? Uh, and and look what the kids were like. What did the? Look what the kids did. It's a reality show. <laughs> James. What did the King James version say? Because I'm a King James baby. Like mm. the new, the new, te- the new, the new Which translation. Part? Which part? Die. I was reading the new. King. Oh, okay, you are. Okay, cool. The. That's all. That's all. I mean, I go by that because when it's other, when it's other. Translations of the Bible, I'm very hesitant <laughs> to like let myself get immersed in that. Yeah, that's why we that's why we researched it because there are different interpretations. Yeah. So you you got to know where it originated. So, yeah, but yeah. all this to say, the whole her whole point, which I think she did a great job, but we just have to figure out where the information was coming from. Do you feel like women are cursed to want to dominate their husbands? Because that's what she said. Are cursed. To Do you feel <laughs> sitting right here today? I don't want this to dominate. This feeling of dominating your but, husband. But, 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 but here's the question, though, real quick. Was it before the curse? What do you mean? Like, before they ate? No, it said after. That was the curse. The curse with the your desire? No, but what if, what if her desires led them to that curse? That's what happened. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, her desires led them to the curse. So, was her desires cursed? No, her desire no. led her to the curse because God told them both not to eat that fruit. 
And she said, then the devil said, you won't surely die. The devil finessed her into eating the fruit. Instead of listening to God, she listened to a talking snake. So, and her husband didn't step in. No, I get that part, but what it... And what well, Paul even said, it was Eve who was tricked. That's what Paul said later <laughs> on. Yeah. Adam, Adam, is, Adam is to blame. Now, we didn't fall until Adam ate it, but the woman, Paul said, it was Eve who so got tricked. The Bible tricked. was mad chauvinist. <laughs> that Paul was like, she ate it too. Hey, <laughs> she, she ate that mug. You know what I'm saying? So I think her desires are what woman. brought the curse. But back, Okay, so you saying, do do I feel like I want to dominate my husband? That's, that's the curse. That's what the lady's yeah. saying. I feel like like you were saying once you submit like we were saying earlier once I'm submitted to God and you're submitted to God then that's not going to be a thing but I think the people out here in the world yeah. acting a fool and I want to be the, the man of the house and I want my husband to stay home and I wanted to all that confusion going to come in and that's from the enemy the lies of the enemy so you think that's from this yeah if he's not submitted to God are you going to submit to him no that's my point that's it that's my point. No, it, and stop it, asking us what we bring to the table. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but 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 the question goes. Period. Was it? I, that's why I keep saying. Was it in her prior to that? No, I think I think what uh, what the devil was pulling on is man's desire to be God and to know what God knows. The, everything we talk about on the show comes back to man wanting to be God. That was the original. But I don't draw. think. But I don't think Adam and Eve wanted to be God. That's what. Why did she eat it then? They That's didn't know he, he was they, they, the snake deceived them to think. Yeah, I know that part, but I'm just saying even, even I don't think they wanted I don't think they knew what that meant Look like to be to God. He I don't said, think I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Look what he said to her. I'm sorry. He said he said did he tell you surely die cuz when God make a statement the devil always asks a question. Yeah. So he said you won't he said you say that you won't surely die. He said he don't want you to eat it because he know you will be like him. Be able to see everything, but, but but being like him was basically no good and evil. No, yeah. the, the you difference know, between knowing everything, no, knowing uh, n- just knowledge. being like him. Period. Yeah, all having, you know about God TikTok. is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm a TikTok. laughs> TikTok all you know about God is, is He created everything. <laughs> he run the show. That's what you know about God. So you thinking like He powerful? I can that, be powerful. That was too. the temptation. That was that's what they fell to. It wasn't because it tasted good. It was because the the serpent said, "You will be like God. You will know what He knows. You you're subject to Him. Why?" Why? If you eat this, you'll know what. He, that's why he doesn't want you to eat it. Yeah. That's that was the that was the. Now temptation. here's another question. Let's go oh. deeper. Why why God allow Satan to become a snake and go in that bad boy like that? Well, that's a that's a deep question, and that was <laughs> that's been asked in the Bible. He want to be what? loved genuinely. He he, yeah. he he put the tree there. He let, allows Satan to do what he wants to do because he don't want to force you to love him. He always want to give you a choice. Well, well it's, it's it's so here's the thing, and this was this was when um. If you, I, I'll challenge everybody read the whole Bible because there's stuff that pastors mm-hmm. don't talk about that you'll run across and it'll be like, what? I, nobody told me this. It, it it describes why we're here. The whole point of us being here is because Satan challenged God's authority. Said, how can you be all the things you say you could be? Why can't I be that? Mm-hmm. Right. It's it's again it's the original problem of wanting to be God. Right. Yeah. Wanting to have God's power. And the whole reason all this is happening is to prove that God is just, merciful, loving. All his names are true. Mm-hmm. This this whole theater Goodness, that we're in yeah. right now is to prove God is who he says he is. Yeah. That's why all this stuff happens. So when you go back to when people are like, what is, what is the meaning of life? And the meaning of life is you are supposed to bring God glory. Mm-hmm. How? By proving that he is who he says he yeah. is. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yeah. I do have a question because back to the dominating your husband thing. Who in the... <laughs> Why are you laughing? Who in like the the Bible stories that we have, like the people, the 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 relationships, who mm. who was dominating their husband? Because I can only think of like With Jezebel. Jezebel, um, Jezebel but other, yeah. what other examples will we have to say That's that a good question. that curse? Delilah, Delilah she dominated Samson. But I feel like Don't majority know, wise, yeah. we have like good representations of what a wife and a husband is supposed to be Sleeping in the Bible. Yeah. But today, if we fast forward, <laughs> we it's kind of funny. We, we have more examples of the other half of it that your husband will dominate you. Yes. We have a lot yeah, of examples yeah, yeah. of that. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. God showed us pictures in the Bible of men most of the time who ended up, if not in the beginning, ended up being submitted to God. So we have that godly example. But like he said, now nah, we don't have that. We have people who want to be God. You I know have what I'm a- I have a question. I've always wanted to ask this question. I never really remember to ask this question, but I've always wanted to ask this question because I was in the scripture the other day and I was like, hmm, that's interesting. Um, Was Abraham punished for um, sleeping with his his mistress? Mm -hmm. What was the punishment? 
Because I don't ever read the punishment. I just says that God gave a blessing to Isaac and he gave a blessing to Ishmael. Um, so, and Hagar didn't seem to be punished because God, mm-hmm. the angel of the Lord, told Hagar to go back and submit to um, uh, Sarah. So, I'm, I'm just wondering, like, what was the punishment? Because David was punished when he had Uriah the mm-hmm. Hittite killed and did this thing with Bathsheba and God took that baby. But... You're seeing the punishment right now. Yeah, Hamas yes. in Israel is yeah. a punishment. Right. Okay, he yeah. created a son that became the enemy to his, God's people. But he yeah. didn't. He didn't let. He the, didn't let um, Abraham know that was going to be the, the direct. What? The direct he said, punishment. I'll just give you your my descendants will be like the nations, yeah. the stars. And yeah. yeah. But the good. The question about that is, God blessed Ishmael. Yeah. He did. Yeah. So for some, for somebody could say God is blessing. Islam, he could say that the pro- the promise was that I will make many nations out of you. Yeah, yeah. They aren't the promised people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah. the promise still fulfilled that yeah. they became a great nation. Yeah. yeah. But the punishment is now this son's descendants are fighting this son's descendants, yeah. and they're still yeah. fighting to this day. Even on a, pr- yeah. a practical level, this is still your son. And yes, you, that's what I was going to say. And you had yeah. to, you had to tell brother Lee, you, you know what I'm saying? Because it, it's caused a friction at the crib. It's yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't slept with this chick. You got a son over there. You got your baby mama and your and your, and your kids Fighting. over here. It's caused a friction at the house. Either they gonna go, or I'm gonna go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You got to watch your son leave. Yeah. Your handmaid, mm-hmm. you probably cared about her too. You got to make a tough decision. That's a punishment. Yeah, it's terrible. But and God tested his loyalty. You gonna sacrifice your son? Let's see what you gonna mm-hmm. do. He he had a lot of turmoil. Yeah, I feel like. Yeah. But isn't Abraham the example of us running out of patience, right? Because Mm -hmm. Sarah was 99 Mm -hmm. when she had Isaac, and he was at the point where he was like, okay, this isn't going to happen. I got to make it happen, Mm -hmm. right? But then it was was Sarah that brought Abraham to Hagar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Following her husband. There you go. So that's another example of, she kind of dominated the situation and caused him to stumble into the situation. And it was her idea. Have it wasn't suggested because he still made the choice. Mm-hmm. No, he she bullied him. If you read the scripture, she was very aggressive on it. I mean, obviously he got he got a choice. Okay, because I was about to say, can Boy, we she really bully somebody in bed? You, he was, you tired, made the action, bro. He was tired of hearing it, yeah. Yeah. and he went along with it. And she's here, I mean, sleep with her. Like a nagging wife was like he was. She yeah, was yeah, nagging that man. Yeah. Now I'm not saying that's okay. <laughs> I'm not saying it's okay, yeah. but she was nagging him, and it was her but idea. But it was just that she wanted him to have a son, not that she had a son, right? And this is but what happens. Right. Okay. Let's go back to the curse we were talking about. He was outside the will of God when he went and messed with that woman. Yeah. Yeah. So who was in control of the situation? She told him, go get the hand. She said, go get your hand serving and have a child with her. Yeah. She was in the lead. Yeah. They were outside the will of God. That's yeah. what she I was going to go back to. She handed him an apple. Exactly. She handed him an apple. So now and we go back it. to the curse again. Had he been in his rightful position as a man of God, say, nah, we're going to wait on God and trust God. We're not mm-hmm. going to take these extra steps. Yeah. Then she would have submitted and said, you're right, we're going to wait on God. But since he was being a sucker, he allowed her to go ahead. <laughs> the sucker work. Yeah. And for but, a woman back then, mean? it was very shameful to not have no kids, especially yeah. not to have a yeah. son. So yeah. she was getting older and older and older, and she was desperate. She felt yeah. she had no value. But, but you can't say that about somebody. They a sucker, bro. Because at the end of the day, every mistake... <laughs> Everybody has a mistake. They make a mistake. You got to see these people one day. <laughs> I'm like, hey, bro. You know you was a sucker in that situation. Me and Eve gonna have to talk though. I'm just saying, <laughs> say, me and Eve got some choice words. I'll be struggling every month, fighting well, on so, sight. Cause you know, but they like even 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 when he talks about going back to her situation, um, childbirth would have been very easy if she didn't bite. They didn't bite that apple. Yeah, yeah. yeah about it would have been. Yeah. Yeah. It's not just childbirth. So, yeah, I'll, I'll say this right. <laughs> not um, just childbirth. Um, you're single. Yes. Are you single? Okay, mm-hmm. I don't know you're single. I think, okay, I, I'll say changed. this. When you get married, you're going to... You said gonna, it stank, <laughs> No, I said I it could have changed since then. I know you're single. <laughs> you was a little too confident for that. Two weeks ago, right? <laughs> it it could have changed. If, he, if, no, it if somebody changed. comes in, we need to meet him, Mary. I'm just saying. Hey, Amen. I can arrange um, that. Uh, but no, so... Where was I going with this? Oh, yeah. So the question is like, uh, I, I'm just going to tell you, like, there are going to be times in your marriage where your husband is going to um, give you your way. Right. Mm-hmm. Because it, it feels like it might keep us out of conflict. It's easier. Mm-hmm. It's easier. There you go. I wasn't trying to say that. Um, but I know my wife is not a Patreon member. So I will. <laughs> oh, um, this is going out. This I'm, I'm, I'm going to just say this. Patreon. Y'all going to have to let it. This is better than the show we just had. <laughs> 
Like, it's better than the show. I want to know what you was going to say. <laughs> my Jesus. Well, you have too many audio my wife problems. Is <laughs> Sanitize it. Go ahead. I can't say it now. My wife might hear. Um, but no, like, it's easier to just, you know, sometimes for men, like, you look, you read the room. You read the room. You get home yeah, and so, you read the room. Yeah. He's, he's, he's basically that. saying that the 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 um, modern day James version of this. Like a plenty of times. Yeah. You the modern day version like. of this is that a lot of men will Compromise. concede because the they want peace. Yes. Yeah. Be my peace. Be my peace. Be my peace. Goodness gracious. Question though, <laughs> if it really came down to a matter of like importance, like if it's a small thing, like hey, I'm not going to eat this out of the refrigerator right now because she might get mad or some some minuscule or small like that, yeah. you're gonna choose to do something that's gonna keep the house in peace. But if it came down to a real situation, a real matter of God, where God really gave you clear instruction, and your wife was like, Nah, I ain't feeling that, but you know, without a shadow of a doubt, God okay, led you different. to do it. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes, I'll sometimes, the example of sometimes. Me. Even that is hard. I was gonna get the it's, example it's hard, of my wife, man. but you're more willing to want to listen to God because what I what I've heard is from married people who've been married for a long time. They'll say it's plenty of times they had to make decisions where their wife and their children really weren't a fan of that because it, it compromised their comfort at that time. Mm -hmm. But they knew God was trying to take that family to a different place where it was going to be better in the long run. They Everybody else didn't just see it. And I think that's part of the responsibility of being a leader and a forerunner. A lot of times God will have you in a position where you can see certain things that he showed you, but everybody else is not privy to that information. Are you going to let the feelings mm -hmm. and the emotions of the people around you make you go a certain way? Or are you going to trust what, what you know God told you to do? I'll say that, I'll say that more applies <clears throat> if you see your wife leading you to something evil right then it applies to sure i think we should go do this thing and she sure. says no yeah i think there's yeah. a lot more collaboration that right. has to yeah, happen yeah. in that situation but if it's like your wife is like i think we should i don't know it's some evil that a wife could get you to want to do i don't know <laughs> I but was if, gonna say something ignorant yeah. if she say hey we, do I, I, something I, crazy in uh, your bedroom that you know god doesn't yeah, yeah, yeah. and she say hey say we something. need to leave this church if she can she say you know what i know you like going here right now but i feel like we need to leave this church you're gonna take it under consideration you're gonna hear what she has to say you're gonna listen and say okay i, I feel where you're coming from but ultimately you're gonna pray you're gonna see god on that situation if god is telling you to stay at that church or even something more obviously evil, like go cuss the pastor out because he said this and that. Oh, yes. Or, or you Strike know, what I'm saying, because he yeah. said something crazy. Yeah, like Wilson. so and so looked at me funny. Go hit him. You know, something yeah, that's, that's evil. That's it's like then it's like no. I remember being no. in a situation where <laughs> <I'm> doing that. <laughs> so I, I, I'll say there's two examples, right? Um, the, the example I was saying I didn't want to say. I got to finish this thought now that my wife is probably gonna hear this. Um, so like. One day she was telling me, she was like, hey, can you listen out for the laundry to stop? And when the washing machine stops, can you load the dryer? You know, and I was like, cool. And she was at, she was calling me. Right. So when I heard the garage door went go up and I was had fallen asleep, I jumped up. You was scared like a little kid. And I, yeah. Because you just don't want to hear like, so you just gonna fall asleep. And yeah. Just, you're not, you're yeah. Listening. So, you know, but I'll, I'll give another example of, um, you know, I have a uh, 11 year old daughter. A uh, soon to be um, eight year old daughter and a soon to be, and I, and I just have a, and a six year old daughter. Aww. And so, you know, at some point you start thinking, like, if I tell, if I, if I, if I become too much of, you know, a sucker. No, no, no. No, <laughs> no I'm saying that's going to make me more it. of a sucker. Like, I mean, come on. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, for women. Too passive. Yeah. Yeah, because there's there's battles that you choose to face and battles that you be like, you know what, I'm sleep better tonight Absolutely. if I don't say anything about this. Mm -hmm. So that's that's kind of where I think I, 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 I I'm not disagreeing with that. I'm just saying if God come to you and say something that's not popular in your household, yeah. are you going to choose the comfort of your family or are you going to choose what God says? That's all I'm asking. No, that never ha that hasn't happened yet. And I think oh, so if it did, it if it did though, because um, that's what we're looking at in these stories. Yeah, because I say yeah. this like I always joke about this with my wife, but when I say something. She'll usually be like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'll, I'll say like, man, I was just watching this debate, da, 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 da. And I think this is this, that, and the other, and this is that, and the other. And she'll be like, yeah, I see that too. She trusts so, you. Yeah, I mean, our our whole dynamic of us agreeing with each other is an easy concept She for trusts us. you. Like, she trusts you as a man of God. Yeah. Like, she, you yeah, saw it, but I'm saying like that's- And y'all that, both submitted, it sounds like. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That so. makes it easier. But when you got a guy who over here selling dope, shooting dice, and then you come over here and he's like, hey, we need to do this for the household. She looking like- 
I don't know if God telling us to do that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Nah, it's a little yeah. bit different. Yeah. Wow, this turned out great. Um, <laughs> Patreon, thank you guys so much. Um, <laughs> before I get in trouble, <laughs> get <up out> of <laughs> here. this turned into merit. Yeah. <laughs> no, but um, thank you guys. We got some new people signed up today too. So Ooh. Patreon is growing. We'll do some more stuff like this where you get early access to videos. Um, I think people need to see this one, so I may put this one out. But we'll do more bonuses just for you guys. There's moments that um. Like uh, when the assassination attempt almost happened, we were going to jump on and do a, a show real quick. So we'll do more of those as as we go forward for you guys. But uh, thank you guys for supporting us. We got a lot more coming. Um, yeah, that's it. All right. Yeah. Let's get back to it. You in the field with the track stars. Ryan Wright, Sean Tanner, DJ Jeremiah.